Feel a smile coming on with every sip of Dunkin's new Cinnamon Sweet Cream Lattes and Macchiatos. You taste that creamy sweetness and cinnamon, and it's like you can't hold it back. Take a second to savor that freshly brewed espresso, sweet cream swirl, and cinnamon on top. And there's that smile. Just like that, your day is lifted. That's what it's like sipping Dunkin's new Cinnamon Sweet Cream Lattes and Macchiatos. America runs on Dunkin'. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the big game hunter. And this is episode 888, 888 for this show. Now, I have two podcasts in iTunes and Stitcher. This one, which is the number one show in terms of episodes in iTunes, I believe in Stitcher as well, but I haven't looked in quite some time, as well as one other show, which is called Job Search Radio. In 2017, I've been spending the entire year on this show focused on interviewing. And Job Search Radio covers everything else. Between the two, they're great material that's going to help you find work more quickly. And today's show is about how to ask for the job. You've heard that phrase a lot of times before, and I explain how to do it. Hope you find it helpful. Hope you find it reaching out to me on LinkedIn to connect with me. LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. And now let's get going. And today we're going to talk about ending the interview and asking for the job. Now, asking for the job is one of those classic pieces of of advice that recruiters offer. And no one really explains how to ask for the job. You never want to go into that situation by saying, please give me the job, I really want the job, or anything that can be interpreted in that way. Instead, asking for the job is really a euphemism for expressing interest. So I don't think it's appropriate at the end of the interview to say things like, um, I just, you know, I, I, I would be a perfect fit for this job. Um, you know, when are you going to hire me? Or, or words to that effect or anything that could be interpreted in that same way. Instead, you want to express interest. So at the very end, when they have the opportunity uh, and they say to you, and this is the signal that they're wrapping up. So is there anything else? Uh, or are there any other points that you want to make? Um, or something that indicates the wrap-up to the interview. Uh, I think the smoothest way to do it, and it has to be smooth, is to simply say, uh, I just want you to know how interested I am in this role. Have I answered all your questions? Is there anything else you know in order to feel comfortable um, uh, with me in this role? Um, Is there anything that's left unaddressed uh, that you might want to ask me? so in this way, you have, you've given them one more cut at, at asking you questions, and you've also expressed interest. And again, when they say, no, I think I've gotten everything, great. What would the next step be uh, in the hiring process, and when might I expect to hear back from you in one way or another? Um, well, I expect we're going to finish first-round interviews next week. We'll be back to you right after that. You know, as things stand now, how do I rank? Uh, because, again, I'm very interested. Now, that, that's a, a, a very blunt question, and it requires that they give you a candid assessment. To me, it's best that you know right then and there, but you don't have to necessarily be that blunt if you're not comfortable with it. Uh, you can simply, again, say, and, and, and I want to be clear, I am very interested in this role, um, and I look forward to hearing from you about next steps in the process. And if I heard correctly, and I know this isn't you know, cast in stone, because sometimes there are cancellations and reschedules, but I might expect to hear back from you at the end of next week. Yes, terrific. Thank you so much. Look forward to meeting you again and other people on the team. Again, the idea is to express interest. Uh, I happen to like that question uh, about where do I rank in the process uh, because uh, I'd rather have you get honest feedback than the kind of BS uh, where they don't respond back right away and it delays and it delays and you know, you're holding out hope. And sometimes people make the mistake of freezing other interviews, waiting for that one thing. You keep going out there and interviewing until you have the offer in hand. Because uh, otherwise, you can get caught short. Uh, you can be misled by 
uh, someone who doesn't have the courage to be honest with you. And, and again, if they say to you, no, you, you did very, really well or you rank very highly, they're still not committing themselves to you, but at least you're getting good feedback saying you interviewed well. There may be reasons why they choose someone else that include you know, differences in compensation, um, personality and fit, and a variety of other things. But at least for now, you're getting feedback that you interviewed well. So again, um, to me, the best way to ask uh, for the job is to simply say, you know, I just want you to know how interested I am in this role. Um, what would the next steps be like? Uh, when would I expect to hear back? How do I rank um, amongst the other people that you've interviewed? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, come over to JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's my site with curated information that I've developed and other people have developed that's going to help you find work more quickly because you're not going to make dumb mistakes. You know what I mean? You know, the stuff that happens throughout your search through ignorance. Plus, you're also able to ask me questions and avoid headaches that are going to become costly later on. The kinds of things that cost you job offers and uh, result in you uh, getting a lower salary offer. So again, that's job search coachinghq.com. Now, this show comes on daily, Monday through Monday, every day of the week. I provide you with advice to help you with your search. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you give it five stars in iTunes. And with that, see you tomorrow. Progressive brings you Flowetry with Flow. When Flow flows, she flows in the know. Mind ruminates the rates. Shown them all, I heed the call. Seeing the rest, I choose the best. Sometimes it's ours, sometimes it's not. When the fox walks, is it called a fox trot? That's a real question. Compare Progressive Direct rates with competitors' rates. Visit Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Feel a smile coming on with every sip of Dunkin's new Cinnamon Sweet Cream Lattes and Macchiatos. You taste that creamy sweetness and cinnamon, and it's like you can't hold it back. Take a second to savor that freshly brewed espresso, sweet cream swirl, and cinnamon on top. And there's that smile. Just like that, your day is lifted. That's what it's like sipping Dunkin's new Cinnamon Sweet Cream Lattes and Macchiatos. America runs on Dunkin'. Price and participation may vary limited time offer.